Hello guys. Today I'm gonna discuss how to design spiral staircase in Strat Pro. In earlier version of tutorial, you have learned how to design staircase U shaped. But in this particular session, on the demand of my subscribers and users who follow me on YouTube, they wanted me to discuss the topic and the design and the loading of spire staircase that is the most crucial part for the interior buildings so here we gonna make spire staircase to design this spire staircase we have different methodologies you can see different types of people will use different methodologies but the easiest method is used to the input command and that input command comes to the stad input instructor data form and that is called straditor where you can add data delete data or modify data so that is a programming concept you have to use to build up this file staircase and for different types of purposes we use straditor accordingly according to our requirement or according to the required project you are dealing with in your company so we will now go to the star later we have to write a little formula first you have to write the unit and that means in systematic way you know For making spy stair guess you have to use join coordinate cylindrical reverse so there will be two spiral in this formula first of all we will concentrate our ideology on the first spiral in first Parallel, there will be the first node and the last node the first and the last node both have the XYZ values and that XYZ values I will tell you what it describes as later on we will move ahead in this particular session of Spire Stair Kill Strat Pro at I so we will put the values So here one is the first node of the first spiral and this is the XYZ value. This one represent the diameter of the first spiral. The second value represent the height and third value the degrees in angle. So if we save this, you can see the first node and its coordinate value. Now we will go back to the star data again. The last node of the first spiral will be 22 and its xyz values will be 22. that is the diameter, this is the height and this is the angle in the case. If we save this you can see Front view, different types of views you can see. Top view, isometric view. This is the first node mm -hmm. of the first spiral and its XYZ values. And this is the last node of the first spiral and its coordinate values. Now again go back to the starator. This formula is for the first spiral. Now we'll input the formula for the second spiral since we end up with 22 here we will start up with 23 node its xyz values will be 23 represents the first node of the second spiral this is the diameter this is the height and this is the angle of EVS the last node will be 44 
this is of course the radius this is the height and this is the angle now we will save this you can see the two spiral has been made go to the front view different types of views from different directions this is the top view this is the isometric view so if we move in this node tab this is the first node of the second spiral this is the last node of the second spiral since we have created the first and the second spiral now we will create the plate elements and do the meshing in it go to the modeling and rotate this Now we will go to the geometry, add plate, add quadrilateral, carefully we have to join these four node adding, add quadrilateral plate tool. slowly and gradually you can move ahead and rotate this sequentially one by one Since we have created all the plates, you can see go to the front view. This is the top view, and this is the isometric view. Now go to the general. Before going, go to the plates, select all the plates, right click, generate plate meshing, quadrilateral meshing, here meshing will be done. You can see plates have been created. Now we'll assign some thickness to it.
create support fix type Support also has been applied. I'm going to be loading definitions. In Dell, only select a self fit that include the plate loads. Assign to view. In live, we will consider the plate load on social plane that we will take as 3 in the GY direction. Select all the plates, assign selected plates, or you can assign to view. Load case detail define combination 1.5 and then go to the analysis print print and select the all. click analyze Go to the analyze zero or zero warning, then we will move to design part. Concrete so five six select parameters. Go to the analyze color analysis. The output file this is the report you can see here. This is the end of the report. Finish now. Go to the post processing, select all the load combinations. Summary here, reactions, there is a node plate you can see, Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to the animation. You can see the deflection. So here is the end of this spy staircase. You can use different methodologies or different tools to create spy staircases. You can see different methods, but this, this is the easiest way. I can tell you a lot of way to design spy staircase as we move further in different type of tutorials. But this is the easiest method if you know the formula. So I'm hoping you have learned a lot from this tutorial of mine. And please follow my channel and share with your friends who are civil engineer and if you are worker working in any core company you can use this simple tutorials for your bright future thank you very much